Hey, welcome, friend. And this is uh, the fourth fourth video, and here I'll be talking about more functions of Gmail uses. Um, one of the important function is Google Drive uses. And then, then you how do you hyperlink a text with a with a link and searching email, senior Gmail. That's another very important thing. So. Um, Let's talk about first about uh, Google Drive uses. So here in the corner, you have this tab. Click on this; it will take you to Google, your Google Drive. You have uh, 25 GB space, uh, 15 GB space. So you have sorry, 15 GB space here, okay. and here the we have so. so there are two, three things here. The Google Drive is linked with your Google Docs, your spreadsheet, your PowerPoints, um, and there are whatever attachment you get in terms of Microsoft Office, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, right? So everything will come here and can be saved here. So important thing is how do you organize it? So if you click on this plus sign, it will say what you want to add. So you can directly upload uh, you can create a folder and keep on adding files in it. You can upload a, directly a file. You can upload a folder, right? Or you can directly create things, right? Blank document, template, right? And many more things, right? Uh, so here, the most commonly used is uploading the folder or file. So let's do upload. Uh, I go to my download. And I will say, all right, let's this do this. So I start uploading, uh, and then you get your thing here, right? Now you want to add this to this file to certain folders, right? But you haven't created any folders, so so you need to click on move to, and you don't have a folder, so you click on this little button, right? plus button new folder and I'll say files right and it will create a folder for me and then move my document here. So this is this is one of the critical thing. You should always organize your Google Drive, never leave it scattered, you know. You struggle finding things. So it takes little effort every day, but it helps you to organize things in proper manner. Um, We'll go back alternatively, you can directly upload a folder. Like, um, you don't need, to, if you already have a folder and you think that you can, you can upload things, right? So, I'm gonna find a folder. I think something I have here, yeah. So, I'm gonna say, Okay, let's upload this. So, upload, for, right, it came here. And then um, you, have, you can rename it, and I will say heat map, and save. That's your folder is ready. If you want to share this folder with anyone, you can click on, right click on this, double click, right click, depending on what you're using, MacBook or Windows, and then click, click on share. And then you can share with someone you want to give permission. For example, I want to share with my email. Just adding that. Okay, so here you go. So you can set the permission. You maybe you just want a person to view things. You don't want them to organize or edit anything. And then you want to notify them, and also then type the message. Hey, hi. Please find the folder. Thank you, right? So you can write your message and then send it, right? That's it. Or when you somebody shares a Google Drive uh, with you, then you get a notification. Like you get a, uh, let's check in my email. You'll get a notification that a file has been shared with you. Yeah, 
so you see this one so you open this link once you get notification click on open it these are all very simple but i'm just walking you through to complete the whole cycle of how you use it so when you open you get permission right it was editor permission so i can delete i can remove whatever i want i can do uh, so most of time if it is your personal folder you should never give editor permission to everyone you should not do that you should always keep to yourself so that you don't like modify things right okay let's move on to the second point about hyperlinking things so for example i want to say hi please see the link for website right so rather than putting the big link here i'll click on this text link and then go go to this button the insert link right uh, and then here you can type url right so for example i want to i want to you give the link of this website right brand home so i'll take this and go to go to this this and paste here right and then say okay it will hyperlink my text so the when somebody receives it when somebody receives it right let's check send taking time to load things yeah so when i get this email i can click on this little toggle button and it will take me directly to the link so you don't need to kind of give a whole lot of hyperlink there so that's a uses right and now the third point is searching email so let's this is very interesting i'll show you in mine so here here is the thing so you click on this little button drop down menu and generally we directly go and just search things which is not a very smart way of doing things so every time i just want to search i'll click on this little button and then i'll say okay it was sent from me to whom i should know someone name i'll say to myself only and then what could be in the subject right code what word it should be in the body of the email i may remember some context of what i'm searching right and then if it has attachment this is most important if it has attachment what should be the size i know that that, that attachment has a very big size so maybe 5 can be and when it was sent last 6 month one year or i have remember a specific date a range right i can just say that right? and where i want to search in my in inbox right and and then it has attachment or doesn't have attachment that i can remember so you have so many options to search your email and you should use this to filter and do quick job rather than just searching a keyword and you never find it right so you can search from when who send it to whom what could be the subject what could be the word in that what what could be the if it has it has attachment what it could be the size of it and then you click on search right see so i search this my three emails has this code which was first thing it was sent from my email to the same email id it has a subject code and and so that's it you, you can easily find right my i say pin phone sim code for tracking it last so this has a code it pulled out my email right so see how 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 smart way of finding things are so hopefully it will help for new people for sure who, who are very new to using the gmail so thank you so much for watching um, i'll be talking next function